Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. There are many different things which have contributed to my growing as a person and changing over the past three and a half years and many of them have been well documented on this channel and incidentally before I start this video there are over 250 videos on the channel now covering many many subjects in my my own journey and things that I've learned along the way as I've changed and grown as a person and please subscribe please like and please share the videos if you find them helpful or you think someone else may find them helpful because it just means more people will see them and that's important if they are helping in any way at all as i was saying there are many different things that have contributed to my growth and change i like to quote dr wayne dyer when he says be open to everything and attach to nothing and I was always pretty closed off. But since I made this, the changes in my life, I've become extremely open-minded. And as I said in my last video, I like to now learn, unlearn and relearn constantly. And I'm constantly learning. There are many things documented on the channel, as I say, that, that have contributed, particularly the foundation of everything my diet, my nutrition, my exercise regimes, and many, many other different things. But there are 10 rules, which, or 10 life rules, if you like, which I've sort of learned along the way and developed. Some I've picked up from people that are far more experienced and um, greater philosophers and scholars than I'll ever be. But I've learned and adapted them to my own needs. And these 10 rules, life rules, if you like, I may use every single day, all 10 of them. And by all means, they're not easy. You know, it's a constant learning process and it's a work in progress. And I'll use all 10 of them in a day sometimes. And sometimes I'll get it right. And sometimes. I'll still try and work towards things and do, just do the best I can with them. But having followed these 10 rules now constantly, they've brought me a great deal of peace, joy and happiness. Because following them has made many changes in my life for the better. The first one is I must make peace with the past. So it doesn't affect my future. The thing is about addiction, as I like to quote Dr. Gabor Mate, he says that it always stems somewhere from some sort of pain. And generally that pain can harp right back to your childhood, but it can also be stuff that's happened in the recent years, resentments and and uh, anger and perceived slights and hurts. But many times it harps from the past. And Eckhart Tolle says addiction begins with pain and ends in pain. But the thing is, if you're constantly living in that state, if you don't deal with the stuff from your past, as I constantly go on about in this channel, and that's not easy, and it's not easy to forgive, it's not easy to forgive yourself, which you must do, and it's not easy to forgive other people, and it's not easy to deal with stuff that may be extremely painful from your past, but it's something you have to face and do, so it doesn't steal your future. And it's been extremely helpful to me. Number two, what other people think of me is none of my business. This was a massive one for me because I always worried about what other people thought of me, you know, what they, how they perceived me and, um, and I altered my behaviour accordingly. I never was the real me, it was all an act and consequently I was extremely unhappy. You cannot affect what people think of you, you just do the best you can and be yourself. And please, you know, really, if you worry, seek people's approval, you'll always be their prisoner. And that's what it was like being locked in a prison. So try your best not to worry, you because it's none of your business, as I say. Number three, I won't compare my life 
to others as comparison is the thief of joy linked to the last one comparing is um is a constant problem these days with everyone it, with social media in particular you know stuff like facebook and instagram and christ knows what else people are constantly comparing what they own how they look you know um what they're wearing what what's they're wearing what phone they're using etc etc what house they own what job they're in constantly comparing and if you do that you'll never unclench your heart you'll it is a thief of joy it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing as long as you're doing your best and you're doing it with love and honor and integrity that's all that matters number four the only person in charge of my happiness is me it took me a long time to get my head around this because you know when bad things happen to you you know we're human beings and constantly life is like a, a heartbeat as I like to say you know ups and downs and ups and downs great peaks and highs massive lows and um, pain and suffering and you know but you are in charge of your own happiness the thing that really helped me with this was that I, I used to sort of take on board everything that happened to me everything that was bad and uh, and it stole my happiness and I used to think I was persecuted almost you know which is rubbish absolute rubbish but now I see everything negative that happens to me as a lesson and this is a really difficult one it, it's not easy to get your head around straight away but everything that negative that happens to you just as everything that good happens to you is a lesson something you can learn and take away and grow from particularly the bad things because there's growth in pain as I, I've said often in my videos there's growth in pain so try and take the lesson from it and grow from it but you're in charge of your own happiness no one else is nothing else is you won't find it outside of yourself you won't find it in buying things you won't find it in sex in food in drugs in alcohol in anything it's inside of you waiting for you to find it you're in charge number five time heals almost anything give it time another one to get difficult to get your head around but it's so true as I like to say to people uh, who are going through withdrawal and, 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 and early recovery and pain sometimes you know um, just hold on someone once told me to just hold on because every second every minute every hour every day every week every month and every year gets better it might even be minute amounts but it gets better and that's your health your strength your happiness your circumstances everything as long as you're doing your best and you're working towards that and growing then you know time will heal everything it heals it heals you know grief tremendous grief someone I love very much at the moment is going get through a funeral today of a father and someone said something to me quite profound the other day you know um, he said said that grief is just love with nowhere to go and I thought about that long and hard and it's, it's so true isn't it you know missing that person but time eventually that love finds somewhere else to go and but never leaves that person who's who you've lost but in a sense but um, it, it, it helps you understand it more and deal with it more and time heals everything give it time number six my favorite dr. Wayne Dyer saying if I change the way I look at things the things I look at change massive in my life are always the glass was half empty not half full for me you know and it's about um, again learning from pain and learning from lessons uh, lessons from stuff that, that, that you perceive as bad but also seeing the bright side in everything change the way you look at things you know someone can look at a weed and think it's beautiful you know and, and, and someone can look at a field of roses and only see the thorns in the roses and, the, and that's the difference it's the way you look at it everything you know and you can't control things it's like you know something as simple as the weather you know you know it might it might be bloody windy and Christ knows what else and it's affecting the way it might be pouring with rain when you're looking forward to some sunshine but you can't control it so you might as well make the best of it and enjoy what it brings you enjoy the smell of the rain enjoy what it's doing for the, the plants and you know everything else so that's the way change the way I look at things 
Right. Number seven, I must stop overthinking. It's okay not to know all the answers. Overthinking was massive for me. You know, I used to think, um, I used to overanalyze everything and every little thing and overthink it. And it used to drive me crackers and it made me very unhappy and clenched inside. And um, I learned when I started reading the Tao Te Ching, which is um, the ancient Chinese. Yeah, look it up if you've not read it yet. It, it'll bring you some massive knowledge. But in the Tao Te Ching, Wu Wei is, it means non-action basically. And it means not interfering. That is the easiest explanation of Wu Wei. Not interfering, going with the flow. The thing is, there's no point in overthinking it because it's gonna, these things happen, things happen anyway, just to, Sometimes just let things happen, let go and go with the flow and see what develops and just act accordingly from there. Don't overthink things, don't tie your head up in knots uh, because it's just not worth it, it'll make you unhappy. Number eight, smile. You don't own all the problems in the world. And another one, another great lesson I learned this one. Because someone once said to me that, you know, if everyone threw all their problems into the room, into the centre of a room, and uh, you're allowed to choose, you'd probably take your own back. Because there's always someone who is worse off, who is suffering more, who is going through hell, who needs help, who needs support. Um, and it's about smiling you know and being grateful gratitude 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 spoken so much about it on the channel and how it's helped me daily gratitude and writing in gratitude lists and being thankful and grateful for everything you know particularly for your health and for your family's health and their love and support and being grateful just that they exist and having a family in the first place so that's that's number eight number nine there are no justified resentments. It's linked to one of the earlier ones in this, but there aren't any justified resentments because if you hold resentments, and normally if someone's wronged you, it's because they're suffering anyway. And again, this is a difficult one to get your head round. Um, it's because of, most of the time, it's because of what's happened to them and how they've suffered and they're just passing on that pain. And if you take it on board and hold it as a resentment, then, It'll only ever make you ill. It'll only ever affect you. They probably even don't even know that they've hurt you most of the time. You know, and if you do, it's so much easier just to forget it and forgive it and, and, and just see it as their pain and their issues, not your own and not take it on board. And then you're not carrying it around like baggage that's weighing you down on your shoulders. Number 10, finally. I can't solve the prob a problem with the same mind that created it and that's a lot to do with the insanity of addiction if you like because that's just like as Einstein said it's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results you can't you've got to change the mindset you're in you've got to and all of these things will help you do that all of these rules will help you do that but the biggest change for me has been becoming present, being in the present moment and realizing what a miracle that moment is and savoring every moment. The motto of this channel is Carpe Diem, seize the day. But you should seize every moment because it's a privilege, a miracle and a joy to be alive. Whatever your issues are, you've got to find that inside of you. For instance, you know, don't take your family for granted. If you're with them, you know, don't be staring at your phone. Don't, you know, look around you. Look at the miracles that are around you. Be with your family. Be present. Save every moment of them because they can be snatched away in a heartbeat. As can you. As can everything. Because we're only here temporarily. And it's a privilege to be here for however long that is. So being in the present moment and meditation helps with that is ideal. So they're my 10 rules anyway. Um, and as I say on the channel, there's many more that you can uh, look at on the videos, that, all the things that have helped me along the way, many, many other things. But these 10 are I work on every single day. I hope that's been helpful to you. Please subscribe, please like and please share the videos, as I said earlier, just to help more people see them. 
Much love to you. Carpe diem. Seize the day today. Have a great day. Have a great weekend and a great week ahead. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.